seen that was. Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here and thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the channel today. Um, so we haven't posted a video in probably about six weeks now. Um, and there's a good reason for that. Um, probably about a month ago, I had a pretty serious accident in out here in the shop. Um, I had an engine hoist roll over with an engine on it um, when I was pulling an engine off the engine stand. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. So as you can see guys, I tried to grab the engine stand, um, or actually I tried to grab the engine hoist when it was going over, and really I should have just let it go. Um, that ended up having me pull my shoulder pretty good, um, pulled my back a little bit, nothing serious. I didn't get seriously injured, thankfully. Um, but if I would have been standing on this side of that engine stand when the hoist itself toppled over, there's a good chance that uh, I could have got injured really bad. So I wanted to take a quick minute and go ahead and throw a note out there and let you guys know that if you're out in your garage working, be as safe as you can. Make sure somebody knows where you are. Um, if at all possible, keep your cell phone in your pocket or your garage door open so you can yell at somebody. Just any one of these things. If I would have got seriously injured, I don't know if anybody would have known or anything like that. So I had a talk with the wife, said, hey, need you to start checking on me when I'm out here. You know, if it's been a while and you send me a text message and I don't respond, please come out and see what's going on, etc. And you guys should do the same thing. Um, if you get an engine stand or engine hoist start to roll on you, just let it go. Get out of the way. Um, try to stay, you know, as far back from it as you can. Um, it's to the point now where I'm ready to go ahead and swing the engine into the frame uh, and bolt it to the transmission, but I'm not going to do that until I have somebody here to help me because it's just too dangerous. Um, if you're messing around with a couple hundred pounds and it's just being held by a chain, guys, all kinds of bad stuff can happen. And uh, you saw it here on my video. Um, I, I really wish that uh, it wouldn't have happened. It dented the oil pan pretty good, um, which fortunately I've got to change the oil pan out for this application anyway. Um, well, I don't have to, but I probably will. Uh, I did let the engine sit upright for uh, quite a while. Um, then I pulled the glow plugs and turned it over to make sure no oil was stuck on the pistons. That way it doesn't hydro lock when we go to start it. I don't see any other physical damage that was done to the engine, um, but there was a lot of damage done to my ego personally as far as getting out here and you know just trying to get this stuff done and realizing that I was cutting some corners and being pretty unsafe and uh, that's pretty irresponsible of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a step back. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more videos out to you guys. I have taken a little bit of a break here just to kind of be thankful. November was a busy month, had birthdays, had a death in the family, had an accident out here in the garage. Um, all that stuff's over with. Um, we're back. We are approaching 500 subscribers, which is awesome. We're gonna have a 500 subscriber giveaway for that. Um, it's gonna be really cool. But for now, just go ahead and enjoy this episode. This is going to be part two of getting the engine ready to swing into the frame. Um, if nothing else, hopefully you guys learn to uh, you know, use an engine hoist properly. We'll see you. going on guys thanks for stopping by so today we're going to be working on the YJ again now in the last video with the YJ we started to pull some components off the engine that we're not going to need and we started to get stuff ready to throw together well today we're going to do exactly that we're going to go ahead and start putting the engine and transmission together um, and we're going to start getting things ready to mount in the frame now one thing that I didn't really count on was this bracket so if you are switching transmissions in a YJ, you need the bracket that goes to the transmission. This is the transmission mount bracket for an AX15. Not the easiest thing in the world to find. Um, I searched several places before I finally found one that wasn't rusted through. Now it's grimy, it's dirty, it's in pretty poor shape, the mount's perished, 
So we're gonna go ahead and start today by cleaning this thing up and getting it mounted to the transmission. If you remember, the first step in our instructions for mounting the engine are making sure the transmission is in place. Um, they've kind of got the instructions oriented so you mount the engine to the existing transmission in the Jeep. Since we're switching both, we got a little bit of work to do that's extra, but we're gonna go ahead and take care of that and we're gonna start with this. So to start off here, we're just gonna go ahead and throw our bracket down into the sandblaster and get it all cleaned up and then we'll throw a quick coat of primer and some paint on it but i just want to get a lot of the rough scale off there because um, i don't intend on taking this part off and redoing it anytime soon once again just a harbor freight sandblaster i've modified mine to open from the top All right guys, so I went ahead and I cleaned up the transmission bracket here and installed it on the transmission. And I got the transmission loosely installed um, where it's gonna be. I uh, got the torque arm bushings and everything on there. Um, so the next step is going to be to actually pull the engine over here, uh, put it on the uh, hoist, pull it off the engine stand and start making modifications to the engine. Uh, we're going to have to pull the intermediate housing off the back of the in engine itself. We're going to have to pull the flywheel off and we're going to have to mount our adapter plate on there. Um, and then we're going to have to mount the engine to the transmission. Um, one of the things that they have you do first is go ahead and ream these holes out to half inch for the new bolts. I already did that. Um, so now we're going to go ahead Get the engine over here and get it on the hoist and start making some changes to the engine um, and see how far we can get.
we had the engine flip on us and almost kill us, we're going to go ahead and start by removing the flywheel bolts. I did go ahead and mark the inside of the crankshaft of the flywheel to make sure everything is indexed right. And of course, these 12 millimeters are going to be a bastard. So I'm a little bit nervous with this engine swinging like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and set it on the ground. I've already dumped it once today. I definitely don't want to dump it again. I feel a little bit more confident now to go ahead and pull these bolts off. And just so you guys know, these bolts are 12 millimeter, 12 point. Really odd, odd bolt choice, I guess. Alright guys, so we've got the adapter plate installed onto the engine now. Um, if we were following the directions like they say to do, uh, the next thing that we would do, we would be filing this ear out here for the starter. Um, but we're not going to do that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get the motor mounts and everything kind of mocked up where they need to be. And that way when I pull the engine back out, I can weld the uh, motor mounts in good and I can make sure everything's good to go and then we can 
do all the necessary repairs on the engine. I want to put a new rear main seal in while it's out. I want to do some glow plugs. I want to go ahead and run the valves, check those out, valve cover gasket, stuff like that. So we're not ready to final install this engine yet. Um, not to mention the fact that since I dropped it, um, I'm going to need to go ahead and do a full inspection of it. Luckily, we got another one right over there. But I don't think I did any damage to it. Um, so the next step in this process is I'm going to go ahead and change these old Paris rubber mounts out with newer ones. Um, and once the mounts are changed out, I'm going to go ahead and put the engine over and drop it down into place um, with the transmission, get the top bolts in, get everything lined up, get an angle on it, and see if I can set the uh, motor mounts. So that's going to be the next step of this is getting the motor mounts set. Once again, taking the engine back out, doing a bunch of repairs, the engine is not ready to be final mounted. So this is the best way for me to do it. So just go ahead and mock everything up and pull it back out and do the repairs that I need to on the engine.